that's the little that's the little boy Rico. He gonna beat his head right, in. So now, Spence, the champion, El Campeon, Mister All the Belts, Mister Strap Season, Mister Smoking on Bud. Huh, that's what he, he said. Smart. He's showing a lot more personality than he normally because he's normally a quiet guy. Goes on about his business out of Dallas by way of New York. Spence Spence is gonna have to impose his will. He's gonna have to show that he's a bigger fighter, the faster fighter. He's gonna have to impose his will in the, in this fight because Bud is not gonna back up. So like they keep saying, who's going to get broke? That's what it's going to come down to. And in order for him to break butt, he's going to have to impose his will on him and break him down. That that That's just what's got to happen. I agree. I agree. And I feel like, you know, he from Jamaica, he like to smoke bud. <laughs> that's all I know. <laughs> he from Jamaica, he like to smoke that bud. Uh, hey, that's what we smoking hey, on your, that blood your, pack. Your boy said go to the uh what was it? The ESJ.com center uh podcast and get your you said go buy you a hot pack. We're gonna smoke him in, in Vegas. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we for sure. Said they gonna we, speak, we smoking, said we smoking him in Fairfield Vegas. though. Huh, black <laughs> black uh Rocket, we smoking him in Fairfield. We fired up that blood pack, man. <laughs> okay, so Spence. Spence obviously has a weight uh, distribution. And you saying he has to oppose his will. I like his composure as well. He got nice composure. Don't get too high. Don't get too low. Uh, it was it was intriguing to watch him. In his last fight, he took a couple shots from Ugas, but he was talking about his mouthpiece. Because people were thinking that he was slipping a little bit right there but if y'all watch the all access he was really concerned about his front teeth he thought his front teeth fell out and he was like hold on they about to make a meme about me he's more worried about that <laughs> and then you know he realized he it didn't come out and then you know he was like okay let's get it and then he went to work on Ugas, and we know what the result is so, i like how they both is but I like I'm I like more like how uh how Crawford when he grab a nigga he he hurry to let go and hurry to throw a couple punches he throw uppercut in a, like a two a combo two three hooks or something and he did not out like that had him dizzy at least and Crawford. He he a little higher. He's gonna be a little higher than I mean uh Spence gonna be a little bit higher than Crawford. So he better be watching out for that uppercut. Cause that body and, and that uppercut, it go hand in hand. He's gonna open it up. Especially if he's talking about he's gonna be attacking that body. Once he starts attacking that body. He better. They both gotta go off his experience, cause yeah, that's how they fighting off of. us. I think we watched the same videos, but Spence did say too. He said uh, he been watching him for a long time. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like nothing he that, that he got to study about him, cause that's all he do is watch boxing. So he already been watching watching Bud fight. So he know what his tendency is. He know what he like to do. It, it's. I think it's going to be a good fight, man. I think it's going to be a good fight. I really want to see it. I don't think it's going to be one of those that we've been getting a hold of to where it's just a garbage fight and it, it, it go 12 rounds but didn't nobody do nothing. This fight is going to have a lot of activity in it. Yeah, it's one thing to pay attention to a boxer tendencies, but I don't – when you look, when you find the most minuscule, finite thing to pay attention to, that lets me know you locked in. Like, that really impressed me uh, how locked in he was 
like where they're going to at the press conference. I know Crutch was saying, don't say it, don't say it, but <laughs> I'm going to say it because this, <laughs> this is almost this, – this made me pay attention to Spence. I was like, hold up, wait a minute, he's paying real attention. So Bud was at the at the they was doing the face off and Bud was like his trainer was like yeah y'all ready for the hot sauce and all this and Earl just was like but Bud don't even like hot sauce <laughs> and if you see Bud tried to laugh it off and then you know later on he was like how did he know I didn't like hot sauce even people in his camp didn't even know he didn't like hot sauce like that so that 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 gave me some respect of Earl Spence right there. So the, the mere fact that I saw he was bigger than him and he's paying attention and he got all the belts. So that means he he actually he gotta be him, you know. So you can't sleep on you can't sleep on uh Spence. You can't sleep on somebody that's paying that much attention to detail. That's kind of like a like the mamba mentality right there for me. So I don't right. know. That that kind of put that kind of put him on. Uh, put me on notice when it came to the the level of detail that he's taking to even win this fight. He said he the big dog. So it needs to be said. Earl Spence said, I'm the big dog. I just think, you know, when the contract, you know, you talk about like composure and how he were not acting cocky. Earl Spence pretty much told him in his face, I'm the big dog, you know. When they was negotiating the contract, like I'm the face, you're not the face. Earl Spence is the face, but like like your boy said, uh, we've been watching Crawford fight more than we've been watching Earl Spence. But Earl Spence was the face of that division. And yeah, and that's arguable because I I was thinking being a casual boxing fan because boxing really just now starting to get back excited. To me, Bud was the face of that division. Mm-hmm. And and um, Earl was the face of the division, but then with the car accident and then the inactivity, that allowed for Bud to, you know, be the face. get his notches up. Mm-hmm. Right. But when you're the man with all the belts, you are the face of that division. That's why this fight had to happen. So that way, these two people, so there's no, there is no, there is no debate about it. Question for you guys. If they fight... <laughs> Do you think they should fight more than once? Because I know that they said they want to compare it to the Hearns, to the Leonard, and uh, Hagler. They fought each other multiple times. So do you think that they should fight each other more than once? I think it's, I think it's going to take more than one fight for them to go ahead and prove their su- su- superiority over the division. Um they're going to have to do it twice, at, at least twice. You know what I mean? And it's, it's, it's just going to be good for boxing if they do it twice because no matter how this one turned out, everybody's going to want to see it again. Everybody's going to want to see it again because everybody's going to have a, have a reason why the other one lost. Like now, we going over the weight drop that Spence is going to have to go through to get through the fighting bud being comfortable. Everybody's going to have an excuse. So I think it, it, I think it'll be a good, it'll be a good shot for at least two, at least two, one rematch, maybe two, but Spence said he want to move up. Let me ask y'all a question. Y'all been watching boxing. We all is around the same age. How many times has Mayweather gave a man a rematch? How many? How many? Oh, but start off. We saw, stay, keep that right there. Mayweather ain't never lost, right? How many times has Mayweather ever gave a man a rematch? No matter if he, it was a good fight or the big, he might have lost that fight in your eyes. But the thing is, we're not talking about Mayweather right now. I'm just saying they 39 no. Why would I give you a rematch and chess if you almost beat me and I won right then and there? And I'm going to give you another chance to try to beat me again. I know it's respect to boxing, but a lot got to do with your legacy, too, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't, I might not want to fight you again because I know you can beat me. So you know, 
So that's so that you worried Eric about your legacy. So you worried about your legacy other than worried about that's why I went back to Mayweather. Truth. That's why I went to Mayweather with it. You know what I'm saying? That's what like yeah. Mayweather didn't give and so, nobody. And so Mayweather, him. and so that's why he doesn't get the full respect that he get because people are saying he picked the fights at the time that he fought, like he didn't fight Pacquiao when Pacquiao when they were younger and they he he dodged fights and stuff like that. Now if they want to decide, hey, I don't want to be under, I want to retire undefeated as if that's the standard of what makes you the best fighter. Um, in this LeBron era, I can see how that worked. But the best fighters, we're not going to say they're better than Maha. We're not going to say that they're better than um, Sugar Ray and Hearns and all them. Because when we don't look at their losses like that, we look at who they beat, who they go, who they go through in order to get their legacy. Not, oh, I'm going to avoid losing. If the fight was close, I'm not going to re- rematch because I might because I might mess around and lose this fight, and then I won't be undefeated no more. Like that, there's no, there's no, there's no pride in that right there for me. Uh, it's pride. Uh, I won right. the fight. I won the fight, y'all. I beat dude. I beat. I beat yeah. a legacy. Legend, yeah, but if you don't want to fight him again, if the fight is close and you don't want to fight him right, again, so you don't sound like you're scared. No, we ain't living in the Sugar Ray. We ain't living in the Sugar Ray in uh uh the, in Duran era. They try to make it that way, but it's all about a legacy and a look. If you go, if I beat your ass, we go twelve rounds. I win by the scorecard, and the next time is a possibility that it could be one loss under my belt. Right. I and I won't respect you. I won't respect you. I ain't worried about that. So, yeah, yeah, I want to go ahead and do it again so I can try to see if why, I can That's why we went back to the Mayweather, so, he never fought him. If somebody beat bashed his head in, he never fought that person again, even though he won the fight. But Just look. Think about Mike Tyson that, and Holyfield. That, that's Mayweather. We ain't talking Mike about that. No, 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 no. Mike fighter. Tyson and Holyfield. Most Right. Most fighters, no, they, they right fought back. two or three times. Because that was the only fight. That was the only. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. In at that time, then no, nobody else deserved a fight. Besides Lennox Lewis, he can't. Yeah, exactly. Nobody else deserved a fight. I don't know why you said that. Exactly, it's not what it is. What it is, Rocky? You know what it is. What it is is this: if you fight a person, you' supposed to run it back straight up, just like in just like in anything. You shoot dice and you hit me, nigga. You' supposed to run it back, even if you lose a bet. Let's run it back. Like, come on. That's that's like, see, that's what's wrong with today's culture. Like, they, there's no more honor amongst thieves or nothing. Like, everything's about how it's supposed to look so you can feel like you better than you are. No. Get it out the mud. Like, if you lose, run it back. If you lose twice, then move on. If, they, if, it's they, close, they, if it's close they, and they fight each other again and then you lose this time, run it back again. It's the best two out of three. We know that. That ain't we something running, that. We live in a LeBron era. So, LeBron. so when we sit here talking about this, uh, that was yesteryear. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we've been doing it all the way up until just now, as if LeBron. now right. is the best way to do stuff. Right. No. Right. That's why I don't know by respect boxing because everybody's scared to have a O on their, I mean, a one on their record. They scared to fight competition. So everybody try to fight, uh, cherry pick their fight so they can all be undefeated so they can all talk about how good they are instead of fight each other. And when, we, three, get a, three, then when we get a right good here. fight, then you want to only see it one time. No, they should fight multiple times. That's for it right now. You don't, you respect the boxer when he lost more than the boxer that don't that got all the wins, huh? Mike respect, Tyson got the most utmost uh, respect. Mike Tyson lost, but you respect Mike Tyson, but you don't respect. He got the utmost him. respect. You know what I'm saying? Because he got zero. Because he had look. Mayweather is a look versus Mike Tyson. He didn't care if he got knocked out. He gonna go fight your ass again in your backyard again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus, what, what is your point, bro? No, no. My point is now about these two fighters. If I, if the winner, ain't gonna want no rematch. That day, Why? Why? I don't know. Because it's a look. Have right. you already have? It's a have you watched? Have you have you watched? Have you watched the all access that we sent you earlier? Well, that black sent yeah, you I earlier. Yeah, I watched it. But let me say this. Let me say this. So then. When the last time it been uh, part two fights? 
When was the last time two top fighters fought each other to be undisputed? I mean, that's the question. You only got one belt, though. Oh my gosh! The question is, when did two people fight so that can uh, so there can be an undisputed champion in and for that weight class? For that weight class. Now, if Bud if Bud was to win, right, and 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 Spence was like, you know what? I don't want to keep trying to make this weight at this class. You got it. I'm going up. Okay, I can see them not fighting again. Now, I, I can see if, if Spence won, right, and he beat Crawford, like on the all-access, if he beat Crawford to the point where it was like, man, that was, I gave him crazy work, there's no need for me because I'm going to vacate the belts anyway. So I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and go to the next weight class, and mm-hmm. then you can win the belts from whoever else in mm-hmm. that division. But you just know that when I fought you for those belts, I you couldn't win them that way. So so you can stay down there and, and punk all them down there. I'm going to move on. Those are scenarios I can see them that they only fight once. But if the fight is close, especially if it go to the scorecards and it's a damn near a draw, then they should fight again. And if it's another boring fight like that, then it let us down. And then you can start talking about their legacy. But at the end of the day, we need to see them fight more than once if we're going to make a determination unless the fight right. is just lopsided. Right. First off, it's going to be a lopsided fight regardless of what it is. It's, whoever wins, it's going to be a lopsided fight. It's not going to be like a Haney or or a Javante fight. It's going to be you. You think these two heavyweight boxers fighting each other right now? Do they both got power and they both going for the knockout? They said so. See. Although Bud don't, he his demeanor is kind of laid back. He he will be in your face a little bit, just like Rocket said. The comedy said, "I like those. Let me get. I'm gonna get those." I don't see Spence being like that, but now he's starting to come out more because you see the strap season T-shirts, you see the back of it. He called himself the Big Fish and all the other stuff. So, do you think his composure is going to play a role in this fight? Instantly. He he gonna be prepared for it. His his whole big fish thing is based off of Crawford like to go fishing all the time. That's one of his good hobbies. So you know Crawford Crawford say he gonna gut him like a fish. He say he, he gonna break him. He he going for the uppercut. So let's just let's just see. But I think both of their composures is, is real good. They uh good sportsmanship. Sportsmanship right, is not. Point. They not too aggressive. They they just they doing what the people want, and they giving people the entertainment that they need, and they not overstepping any boundaries or doing too less. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a real good point, and I think that that makes for a good fight too because. The best fights are when the referees aren't all involved. And I think that's, this is going to be that type of fight where we're going to see two um, skilled boxers, you know, the sweet science. They going in there and they're going to just box it out. Now, 500 saying it ain't going to last. He's saying somebody going to touch the canvas. And I'm thinking it's going to go the, I'm thinking it's gonna go the uh, distance because, like, the first three rounds, they're going to be respecting each other's gangster, I think. But, the first three rounds, they're gonna be taking off each other next, trying to at least. That's where the most power punch is gonna come. I promise you. The first three, because they gonna get tired and they gonna start, you know, bobbing and weaving and just playing the playing the ring. But once they really, once the fight start, that's when they touch them gloves. When they touch them gloves, they gonna be trying to kill each other. Nah, cause they neither. I don't think so, cause they neither one of them trying to get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> but they both trying to knock each other out. Yeah, but in yeah. doing that, it's a chance you can go to sleep. Yeah, for sure that. I think they're gonna like we were talking. I was talking about the patience level of Crawford, but the patience level of Spence is also next level too. I mean, like he patiently waited in this division to even have this fight to happen in. And he doesn't get overexcited, so uh, he's going to be real, real patient. 
And I think this fight is going to simulate that, that they're both going to be patient, wait for one to make a mistake. They're probably, neither one of them going to make any big mistakes like that. And I think it's just going to get drawn out. I just, I just, that's how I'm feeling about it. I agree. One mistake is one mistake too many, though. Mm-hmm. One mistake, you lost. One mistake, your game is over. You lost. If, if Spence make them, all these belts is on the line. Every last right. belt that they own. So, whoever make that mistake, you might as well say goodbye to them belts. And Spence, he ain't gonna want another rematch if he make. If he make a man, I'm, Crawford, he. He remind me of Mike Tyson. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it like that. From looking at the these other uh highlights that I just looked at, that boy hitting hard and he coming out ferocious like a beast. And Crawford, he coming out, but he holding his composure as he come out. He ain't coming out trying to knock a nigga out off the off the back end. He he knock a nigga out a couple rounds. It, that boy TKO and shit though. Crawford. Oh no, right. cause both them niggas, one of them knockout rate is seventy five percent, the other one is seventy eight percent. Mhm. So they both putting cats to sleep when they fight. That that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, but but what that tells me is they both have the ability to knock each other down or out. But they also have the ability to box, mm-hmm. so uh, that's what I think is kind of gonna how kind of play out. So, with that being said, with the, with all things considered, up until this point, because we still have how many days before the fight? Well, how many how many days we got before the fight? As of right now, who do you guys favor to win the fight? I'm going with Earl Spence. That's what I'm going with. I'm I'm underdog all the way. Spence is an underdog, but he's a champion with all the belts. He's an underdog champion with all the belts. And he for the beat up on the hood, boy, huh? Like my cousin Rock Rocky say. I said I was gonna hold my pick, but right now I'm rocking with Earl. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't watch a couple of things, seen a couple of things. I like Bud. I like Bud a lot, but 29th just ain't his day. Pick another day. 29th ain't his day. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> right now, I'm at a draw, but you know who I pick, Crawford. I'm at a draw right now, though. I'm betting a draw. I'm, I'm Crawford. I'm so who Crawford. do you like right now? You know I pick. I pick Crawford, but I'm draw right now. I, I'm. 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 I'm <laughs> but, uh, it's cool. Whatever you do it the way you want to do it. You, I mean, you, you, you I draw right now, but you got Crawford. So I said I'm going Crawford. You're right. You're, so right why you I just can't Crawford. say I like Crawford right now, and I don't see me changing my mind? How about that? I ain't changing my mind. I like Crawford. The bet it. The bet I'm doing. I'm gonna try to find a Spence. Uh, win by decision or TK TKO or KO, and then I'm gonna try to find him to win in rounds probably one through five. No, it probably be one through six because it always go like that. It'll always be an even number at the end of that. So it probably one through six. I'm gonna give him a TKO or a KO. <laughs> you you about to get your buddy to the trust trust funds the same uh, joke. <laughs> They yeah, gonna yeah. they gonna run for six rounds. They gonna fill each other out for six rounds. Uh, they gonna fill each other out for you know two I mean? rounds. And I was listening to y'all talk. You like it's gonna be knockout blows in the first three rounds. I'm like, boy, you do, you watch these people box? You have you really watched these? They, I, ain't, I, they ain't gonna even see no real deal to the fifth or sixth round. You might, if that they ain't for just coming to the ring and just be uh, far. They ain't going to be bashing each other head in for the start, nah, brother. No, they they gonna not, they're not about to come in there sparring, but they not. I don't think they're going to go in there running each other head first yet. Like, yeah, Rocky, they gonna, they gonna, first three rounds. Oh, heck no. First they three run, rounds, they're going to be fine. Eight, nine, ten, you can mess around with them bets in, in, in a 12th round. You can mess around with that bet. Anything six rounds below, 
you give me your money away for free. Come on, give me um, that. Let me have that money. Oh, shit, that's free money. <laughs> Hey, I don't think so, cause they the way they was talking at that press conference, Man, that's they was talk. tripping. It was all talk, but it's all hype. Yeah, Dirty somebody, trip. somebody gonna be hurt. They want to sell uh, tickets. They gotta sell tickets. They gotta say something. They can't be like, "Well, I love you, brother. You're my best friend." They, they, they gotta, you know, sell tickets. He better. He gonna have to knock a nigga out. That's All right, so, here, so, this, so, th so this is who I like up until this point. I'm going with Bud. Up until this point right now, I'm going with Bud. I like how his overall package is. Pause. I like how he like his composure as well. Uh, he doesn't go, doesn't look like he's flustered. And he's always in control. Um, Spence, I think that gap is a little bit smaller than I was giving him credit for. Because when I first thought about this fight, I hands down thought that Bud was going to win. But we have at least another episode or two before the all access. I think they might have been edited in so people are like um, Spence, these first two. But we'll see what they do for the next two. And then we're going to come back. We're going to reconvene. We're going to have some more people come in. And then we're going to get their fight opinions. And then we're going to give our final predictions because we will be doing a fight show on that day so make sure y'all hit the subscribe button hit the bell so you know when we go live you can be official like the up gang we will be doing the pre-fights as well um so just make sure y'all hack in for that i know you ain't playing devil's advocate now man who oh, never that <laughs> never that never that no i i definitely hey, had crawford, i definitely had crawford coming into it um, like I said, I, I kind of just I, I don't think it's gonna be a cakewalk. Um, but I just right right now I'm going with Bud right now. He a beast, but man, I'm going with Bud going right down. now. Right now I'm going with Bud. He a beast, but I think he's going down to that canvas. Or oh wow, it might just be a knee. It might just be a knee. But he gonna touch something of it. Yeah, Spence sure. finna, Spence finna lay work on this. Yeah, I'm so telling you, he's smoking on bud. That's we we smoking all bud pack. He said. He said, you know, we right. from Jamaica. We smoking all bud pack. Smoking on bud yeah. in Vegas. <laughs>